Hey everyone, welcome back to LMF Studios. In this video, I'll show you how to build a custom PC step by step. If you're a beginner or just want to learn more about building PCs, this quick guide will help you get started. I'll walk you through the entire process using a Ryzen 7 7700X, a Pro X 670P Wi Fi motherboard by MSI with 32 gigs of DDR RAM by Corsair, and a GeForce RTX 4070. I will also have a list of the components with links in the description below. Building your PC is not only cost effective, but also a great way to get the PC you want with a rewarding feeling that you got it done. Let's get started by gathering all the components. You need the CPU, motherboard, RAM, graphics card, power supply, storage, and a case. And of course, you're gonna need some tools like a screwdriver, thermal paste, some coolers already come with pre-applied paste, so you might not need it, but it's always good to have it extra just in case. And any static precautions, make sure you ground yourself. You don't wanna get shocked and fry your components. Carefully take your motherboard out of the packaging and place it on top of a non-static surface. I usually put on top of the box that the motherboard came with. Now that we have the motherboard ready to go, let's install the CPU. Gently remove the CPU out of the box and we have to be extremely careful not to damage the CPU. They're gentle, delicate, and needs a lot of TLC. All right, I exaggerated a little bit, but yes, you have to be careful. Make sure you align the triangle that you can see there on the corner with the triangle on the motherboard. Set it down slowly and now you can lower the bracket and the rotation arm. You're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure there. It's okay, you're not gonna break it. I really hope you don't break it, but you shouldn't break it, it'll be fine. Now we need to install the cooler onto the CPU. If your cooler doesn't already come with pre-applied thermal paste, you're gonna have to add some. If you forget this step, you're gonna be in big trouble. Uh, so add some thermal paste. You're gonna see what I did here. I put it quite, I'm in a mess. I'm gonna be honest, I'm in a mess. Not my finest job, but it gets the job done and it works. Yeah, it's messy. Put the paste on top of the CPU, then attach the cooler to the CPU and follow the instructions from the manufacturer. And just be careful. I've seen cases where people forget to remove the plastic that's attached to the cooler and you're gonna have some problems. So make sure you take that off. Now let's put some RAM into this motherboard. It's very simple to do. Align the notch uh, on the motherboard and check the manual from your uh, motherboard to make sure you put the sticks where it needs to go to take the most advantage of their speed. So uh, every uh, motherboard is a little different. So just check manufacturer to see where you should put it. It's always good to put in pairs. After you've done all this, let's prepare the case. Get the case out of the box, lay it out on the table and get ready to put the parts in. The first thing you want to do is uh, place in the I.O. shield. Usually that comes with the motherboard. Some motherboards already have it built in, but that's something you don't want to forget because if you, I've done this before, if you put the motherboard first and then you realize you forgot to put the shield, you're going to have to remove the motherboard and put the shield in. So place the I.O. shield uh, on the back of the motherboard, then lay the motherboard down and let's put the screws in to fasten everything onto the case. Now let's install some hard drives. If you want the best performance possible, you gotta have an SSD. Uh, okay to use the traditional hard drives, mainly to store you know, photos and stuff like that, but you definitely wanna have an SSD to, to get the most out of your system. Now let's install the power supply. Usually is installed at the bottom of the case, but again, every case is a little different, so check the manual just to be safe. Align the screws and secure in place. Make sure the fan is facing the right direction for airflow. Now let's install the GPU. 
In this build, I'm using the GeForce RTX 4070. Don't forget to connect the power and data cables to your storage devices. Now it's time to connect all the power cables. Plug the 24 pin power connect into the motherboard, the A pin connect to the CPU and any additional power cables for your GPU and storage devices. Cable management, that's very important. If you want a good airflow and you want to have a nice looking build, TD up your cables using zip ties or Velcro straps. A lot of cases nowadays come with those, uh, but in case they don't, make sure you have some to improve airflow and make sure the build, it looks clean and very professional. Once everything's connected, power on your PC. If it boots successfully, hand it to the BIOS by pressing the delete key or F2. In BIOS, you'll be able to check all the components, configuration, everything that you got set up. When, after you check all that, then all you gotta do now is install the OS. Insert your bootable USB with the OS, follow the installation steps, and you're ready to go. And there you have it, a complete custom PC build from start to finish. Hopefully, this guide helped you understand the process and inspire you to build your own rig. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe for more and leave a comment if you have any questions or ideas for future videos. Before I let you guys go, I'm wondering if I should do a giveaway of this PC. I already changed the GPU, I replaced the RTX 4070 for a Radeon 7700 XT since it was an uh, insane sale. Uh, but again, I enjoy building PCs and I'm thinking about maybe do a giveaway on this. I don't know if I do the whole PC or do two giveaways the GPU separately and then the PC, you guys let me know. Tell me what you want and we'll figure something out. Thanks again.